Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at a fairly powerful capability of Smalltalk and one that you should be very careful with, and that is overriding the message not understood exception to do something interesting. Now, this is not something you want to do every day. It's not something you want to do pretty much any of the time unless you're really, really sure. And I'm going to show you an example that's not really the right way of doing things. But I wanted to show you how powerful this can be. I have a simple class here with a simple instance variable count. And I'm initializing this to zero so that I can do this add message and add one to it. So it's a thing where I can go ahead and create a new counter, add one, and it just is a one-up counter. Not terribly exciting. It's a simple example I often use when I'm teaching small talk as a way of getting a very straightforward example in front of somebody where I don't have to explain the domain, but then I can show features of small talk, which is what I'm doing today. So we're going to have the capability to do something like this, send add it colon instead of add, and have it work by sending add instead. How does that happen? Well, we come in here to does not understand. And what we're doing here is we grab the selector, convert it to a string with as string, and see if anything in it matches add. And if it does, we're going to just go ahead and perform add with the message arguments first. Now, of course, this could fail if I just sent add it without arguments. So this is not a completely safe implementation. But again, that's not the point. The point is that you can do things like this in Smalltalk. So if you're building tools, this is often useful probably not so much in deployed applications unless you're doing proxy operations, but this is kind of a cool thing. I can go ahead and ask any kind of test I want here in my handler. This is does not understand, so this is the message that gets sent whenever you have a message not understood exception, and you can implement this. So instead of handling the message not understood somewhere, which is hard here because you don't know when it's not going to be understood, you can just have this implemented and then do your own handling. And here I'm going ahead and sending add with the arguments. And down here I'm saying if it didn't match that, I'll assume that you didn't know what you were doing, and I'll just send super does not understand. So how does that all function? Well, you come in here, let's create the new counter, and we'll just do this part here. And if I inspect this guy, you'll find that I have a count of one as I expect. Let's push that aside for a minute. And now we'll do this. We'll do it. Do it. And Normally in Faro, I would see a little message telling me that it didn't understand that message, but I tried this out before the screencast, so I didn't get that. But you see that my counter updated, now it says 2. And that's because it automatically went in here and said, well, I see the letters add in there, so I'll go ahead and assume you meant add colon, and I'll send that message. And that's really all there is to it. Again, not the kind of example you want to try in real code. This is a very trivial example, but it demonstrates the power of this kind of capability. So, it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.